Well, uh, we'll carry on with the further uh, explanation uh, for uh, present continuous tense. So now what is important here that is stative verbs are not uh, usually used in continuous form. What does it mean? Stative verbs are also known as uh, state verbs and they are the verbs that describe a state or situation instead of describing an action. These verbs usually relate to emotions, thoughts, opinions, senses and a state of being. Whereas stative verbs are the opposite of dynamic verbs which express an action process or change. So dynamic verbs are used in present continuous tense and stative verbs are used with the present uh, simple tense. Here, uh, look at the example given. He loves his dog. The verb in this example is loves. So, loves describes an emotion and it is usually a state without a clear beginning or end. For this reason, uh, we know that loves is a stative verb. So, we will not use present continuous. Uh, when we look at the example, uh, another example given, uh, we uh, would say I like pizza instead of I am liking pizza. So it will be incorrect if you are using present continuous because like is a stative verb. And the most common stative verbs uh, include love, hate, like, prefer, seem, know, understand, doubt, feel, believe, agree, want and wish. Though uh, some verb can be both stative and dynamic, it is important and very uh, tricky and intriguing. So we have to pay special attention here depending on how they are used in a sentence so we have taken example of the word think as a verb so uh, we can look at uh, these two example with the very uh, use of the same word like i uh, think basketball is the best game and the second example i'm thinking about buying a car so in the first uh, sentence think as a stative verb because it is describing an opinion and it is uh, difficult to determine or decide uh, whether uh, it's an opinion uh, that it is an opinion and where it uh, begins or ends whereas in the second one thinking is not a stative because, uh, because somebody is planning to buy a car so it describes an action and it shows a process that is actually happening or taking place so what we have to remember here that stative verbs do not describe an action instead they describe a state of being feeling or thinking something